Hello friends, in this video I'll give you important questions for upcoming Maharashtra Straight Board HSC examinations for Mathematics Paper 1. So let us begin with vectors. The most favorite question in vector for HSC board examination is based on volume of parallel pipe. They may ask you find the volume of parallel pipe and they will give you the coterminous edges. Sometimes they might ask you find the volume of parallel pipe and they will give you coordinates of vertices. There may be a theory question also, most expected theory question. Prove that the volume of parallel pipe is given by the box product of A bar, B bar and C bar, where A bar, B bar, C bar represents the coterminous edges of parallel pipe. Next category of important questions for the topic vector is based on this concept of collinear vectors. The question may be like this, that these two vectors are collinear, find the unknown P. Or they may give you these three points and they, uh, they might ask you to show that these three points are collinear. So first foremost important topic was volume of parallel pipe and second most important topic in vector is about concept of collinear vector. And the third most important topics in vectors for HSE board examination is questions based on direction cosines and direction ratios. For example, they might ask you a very simple question, find direction cosines of the given vector, find direction ratios of the given vector. And then another important question may be, find the direction ratios of a vector which is perpendicular to the two vectors whose direction ratios are this and this. Or they might say, find the acute angle between the vectors whose direction ratios will be given to you. And if alpha and beta, gamma, alpha, beta, gamma are the direction angles of uh, any vector, then you might be asked to prove cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma equal to one, sine square alpha plus sine square beta plus sine square gamma equal to two. Most important topic was volume of parallel pipe, right? Followed by collinear vectors. And third most important topic is direction cosine and direction ratio. Now next important topic is STP scalar triple product and here are some important questions most expected questions for HSC board examination 2024. Prove that box of A bar plus B bar, B bar plus C bar, C bar plus A bar is two times A bar, B bar, C bar. Here three vectors are given P bar, Q bar and R bar. And they're asked to show that a bar dot b bar plus b bar dot q bar plus c bar dot r bar is 3. Volume of tetrahedron, they will ask you find the volume of tetrahedron whose vertices are given to you. Next important topic is uh, about coplanar vectors. Regularly they ask questions in the JC board examination. So this is one of the most important uh, expected question for upcoming exam. They might give you three vectors like this, which are coplanar and ask you to find the value of this unknown P. Next important questions are the problems based on section formula. Uh, in exam, it has been observed that they frequently ask the proof of section formula. So go through the proof from your textbook and learn, prepare that proof that is very, very important proof of section formula. And a light smaller questions like this where 5A bar plus 3B bar minus 8C bar is zero. They ask us to find the ratio in which point C divides segment AB, where A bar, B bar, C bar are the position vectors of points A, B, C respectively. Now let's look at last few important questions like this here, a theory question, theoretical question. Uh, it may say that A bar, B bar, C bar are some non-zero, non-coplanar vectors. Then any vector R bar can be expressed as linear combination of A bar, B bar, C bar or a bar b bar can be two non-zero non-collinear vectors and uh, any vector in the plane of a bar and b bar can be expressed as a linear combination of these two these two theory questions are important practice them from your textbook prove that the volume of tetrahedron is one by six times box of a bar b bar c bar another very important question uh, theoretical question and this one is a very important question once again where one vector will be given to you and you will be asked to express that vector as a linear combination of two more given vectors. Then problems based on centroid of a triangle, in center of a triangle, 
area of parallelogram or side spectrums are given sometimes they may give you vertices and they might ask you to prove that they form the vertices of parallelogram so these were few important questions from vectors do practice them let us now move on to the next important topic and that is trigonometry function in trigonometry function chapter the most favorite section is triangle they ask questions like uh, proof in triangle abc a equals to b cos c plus c cos b or the proof that sine of b minus c by 2 equals to b minus c upon a cos a by 2 or prove that 2 a sine square c by 2 plus c sine square a by 2 equals to a minus b plus c or a question like this if cot a cot b cot c are in ap then show that a square b square c square are also in ap prove sine rule and cosine rule these are the favorite questions from this section moving on the next important questions for uh, 2024 HSC board examinations from general solution and principal solution. Find general solution uh, sine theta plus sine 3 theta plus sine 5 theta is 0. Find general solution sine theta plus cos theta equal to 1. Find general solution 2 tan x minus cot x plus 1 equal to 0 or 4 sine square theta equal to 1 sec theta equal to minus 2. Find principal solution that is also frequently asked and very important expected questions. Like for example, cot theta equal to minus root 3, cos theta equal to 1 by 2, etc. Problems on ITF are also very, very important. They might ask you prove that sine inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2. Or they might ask you find the principal value of sine inverse minus 1 by 2, that kind of question. This is also one of the favorite questions where they ask you find the value of x if some ITF equations are given like this. Prove that sine inverse 3 by 5, cos inverse minus 12 by 13 is sine inverse 56 by 65. Prove sine inverse minus 1 by 2, cos inverse minus root 3 by 2 equals to cos inverse minus 1 by 2. These are most important and expected questions from ITF for upcoming HSC board examination 2024. Then very simple questions like where uh, they give you Cartesian coordinates and ask you to find polar coordinates or reverse they are giving you polar coordinates and they might ask you to find Cartesian coordinates. Let us move on to the next important topic and that is called as pair of lines. Very important theory question. These are two very important theory questions which are most expected in this examination. Prove that tan theta which is given by this formula and prove that the second degree homogeneous equation represents two lines which are passing through origin. And this kind of questions find k, or find p and q, some unknown coefficients. That kind of questions are very much favorite. Like this find k if this is one of the lines represented by this. Or relation between the slope kind of questions. Find k if slope of one line given by this exceeds the slope of other line by 8. So any problem which involves the relation between the line slope of this line is double the slope of other line. Difference between the slopes is 4. Uh, sum of squares of the uh, slopes of lines so and so. Relation between the slope kind of question, finding unknown kind of a question are very, very important. And very important question is this category. Find the joint equation of lines and certain conditions will be given to you and find the separating separate equations of line where combined equation will be given to you are the favorite questions so make a note of this theory question and finding the unknown and relation between the slope of line go through the list carefully and find out the example from your textbook which which contains this theme and those are the very very important questions from pair of lines now moving on to very simple topic logic these are important questions. Using trip table, they will ask you to prove the statement where you construct the truth table and uh, try to prove the logical equivalence of the statements. Then problems based on switching circuits, they might give you a switching circuit and ask you to simplify the switching circuit and, uh, and uh, derive the logical expression for it. Or reverse, they might give you a logical statement and ask to construct the switching circuits like that. Problems based on switching circuits. 
uh, they will give you any logical statement in symbolic form and ask you to find out its truth value. Problems based on uh, converse and contrapositive statements, tautology, contradiction, and contingency. Proof of that using truth table. They will give you a statement and uh, ask you to find out or write down rather negation of the statement. Using laws, prove that the equivalence of the statement. Right? One question is using truth table, prove the equivalence of the statement. Other will be using laws, prove that the equivalence of statement. And uh, small but very important, they will give you a statement and ask you to write down the statement in symbolic form. And very rarely they might ask you write down the dual of the statement. Let us now focus on matrices. Uh, they give they, they will give you a system of equations and uh, ask us to solve the system of equation either by using reduction method or by using inverse method. Uh, next important question is finding inverse. They might ask you using elementary column transformation or elementary row transformation or a joint method. They will mention in the question to find inverse using so and so method. If method is not mentioned, then you are free to use any method which you like. This kind of question, you know, basic kind of question, find x if x equals to i, something is given and something is asked. For example, find k if a into a joint of a equals to ki. So that kind of basic questions are also important. Small topic, but important. So now let's focus on the last topic, line and plane. Let us first focus on line. Uh, important question is vector equation of line under various conditions. They might give, ask you to find vector equation of line which is passing through a point parallel to the given vector or they might ask you find the equation of vector equation of line which is passing through two points or they might ask you a vector equation of line which is passing through a point and uh, uh, perpendicular to the two given lines and so on that kind of questions. And this is also a very favorite question. They give you Cartesian equation of line and ask you to find vector equation of line or vice versa. They give you vector equation of line and ask you to find uh, Cartesian equation. Find the angle between the lines. Find the shortest distance between the lines. Show that the two given lines intersect and also find the point of intersection. Sometimes um, they might give you if the two lines are intersecting at right angle, find the value of some unknown k. Finding direction, cosine direction ratios of the line and showing that the two given lines are coplanar. These are the very, very important questions from line. So the next topic is plane in that the most important question is find the equation of plane in various conditions. For example, they might uh, say find the equation of plane which is passing through the intersection of two planes and uh, and uh, parallel to some given line or they might ask you find equation of plane which is at a distance of let's say 10 units from the origin and uh, normal to some given vector or may I they might ask you find equation of plane which is parallel to the given plane at a distance of let's say some units from some point uh, a b c something like that or uh, finding the equation of plane which is containing two lines finding the equation of plane which is containing three points so all various uh, situations you need to go through the textbook and uh, uh, learn the finding equation of planes and then finding parametric given will be a parametric equation of plane and they might ask you to find cartesian equation of plane or vice versa they might uh, give you cartesian equation of plane and ask you to find the parametric equation. Find the angle between planes, find the angle between line and plane. The length of perpendicular from a point, if any line is parallel to plane, find some unknown and showing that the two lines are coplanar and also find the vector equation of lines containing them. These are the few important questions. Remember, dear friends, these were important questions. That does not mean you have to do only this much. But yes, surely if you are, you know, not well prepared, then at least do this much questions and you will come out flying colors into your board examination. Bye-bye and take care.